Hi there, welcome to Karma's Australian Storytime. It's such a beautiful afternoon, I thought we'd read at the beach today. I'm going to read Granny Gromit and Me. The author is Diane Wolfer and the illustrator is Karen Lair. Let's flip over and see what this book's about. Granny, a little boy, a dog, a seagull. Wonder what's going on. My granny and her friends go to the beach and I go too. When they hit the surf, they duck and dive and twist and turn. It looks like lots of fun, but I don't want to go in the water. There are strange things under the waves. Hmm, sometimes I've had something brush against my leg, and if you can't see it, it might give you a bit of a fright. This book is looking very interesting. I wonder if he will go into the water. Beautiful illustrations in this book. My granny is a grommet. She meets her grommet friends at the beach and I come too. I love all their different types of bathers. Some are stripes, some are spots. The granny grommets wear wetsuits to keep their granny bones warm and granny caps to keep their ears dry. They sunblock their noses and check the ocean looking for rips. A rip is where the current pulls really strong and it can suck you out to sea. You do have to watch out for those. Then they hit the surf. Oh, I like all their boards. Jan twists and turns. Doris ducks and dives. Zelda zooms through a dumper. Granny rides a curler all the way to shore. It looks like fun. Certainly does. Come in, Granny calls. I shake my head. I can't go in. There are strange things under the waves. I'm still a bit scared. Granny brings a smaller board for me to skim over the wet sand. I whiz along the beach, twisting and turning. Then I duck and zoom. A wave tickles my ankles. I laugh and wade up to my knees. Looks like he's having fun. Not very scared yet. But then, something strange brushes against my leg. I splash back to shore. Oh boy, I've got another fright. Later, when the surfing is done, the grommets soak in their favourite rock pool. Come in, Jan says. It's lovely and warm. The rock pool feels safe. There are strange things in the shallow water, but they look friendly. They're not too worried because they can see them. The sea is like a rock pool, Granny says. A great big rock pool. Maybe she's right. Hmm, I'm having a connection here to when I went to a rock pool the other day. I found lots of shells. I found a crab and I put him back in the ocean. Uh, what else did I find? I found some seaweed, a bit stinky, and hmm, a, a really nice cowrie shell. A cowrie shell is a rounded, shiny shell that I've kept. When the sea is calm, the grommets explore the reef. They put on masks and snorkels. Doris has an extra set for me. I don't want to go in. It's okay, Granny whispers. I used to be afraid too, but then I learned to snorkel. The grommets showed me wonderful things underneath the waves. You can stay on my board, Zelda suggests. A little bit nervous again. The grommets float out to the reef. I shut my eyes and clench my toes. They surround me and soon I feel safe. I listen to the grommets snorkel chatting as the sea rocks me gently. It's peaceful on the board. I open my eyes, pull on the mask and peer under the waves. This is what you call a bird's eye view. You can see down on top of all the backs of them and their heads. 
a noisy boat going past. There are strange things, wonderfully strange things. Have you ever gone snorkeling? When you put your head under the water, everything changes with snorkel gear. And you can see all the beautiful colours, the pretty fish. Granny, you're right. The sea is like a great big rock pool and I can't wait to be a grommet just like you. Oh, looks like the boy is starting to enjoy himself now. Now, at the end of this book, Granny Grommet has some beach tips. Always swim with an adult, good one. Don't forget to slip, slop, slap. In Australia, we have lots of sunshine. We definitely need to put on the sunscreen. Breathing through a snorkel is fun, but at first it feels a little strange. Make sure your mask has a good seal and that the snorkel is attached to one side. Lower your head slowly. Make sure the snorkel is sticking up or you'll get a mouthful of water. If you do get a mouthful of water, blow out quickly to close your snorkel. Good idea, you don't want to swallow the salty water. Many sea creatures that look beautiful are poisonous. In the ocean, it's always best to look but not touch. Grommet actually means a young surfer or a beginning surfer. And that is the end of Carmen's Australian Storytime, Rini, Granny, Grommet and me. I really hope you enjoyed this book and we even got to have a boat go through during the story. That was pretty cool. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.